Hi Tejas. Hi Deepal. Tejas I was study about the OSPF unequal cost load balancing but my concept is not so clear. Can you help me on this? Oh sure. Tejas what is OSPF unequal cost load balancing? OSPF only allows equal cost load balancing. For example if one link is 10 megabytes and other link is 100 megabytes then it will not support by default. Manually you need to change the cost or bandwidth of interface and make it equal cost of both link after that OSPF load balancing will work. By default OSPF support for maximum path you can increase the maximum path from 1 to 16. Tejas can you explain with some example? Oh sure. Deepal look at to this diagram. See in this diagram R1 has three way to reach viaduct R5. One is via serial link, one is via ethernet link and one is via fast ethernet link. Because fast ethernet bandwidth is high it will take default path via fast ethernet link. For making load balancing we need to make, each link has equal cost. Most important we need to configure bandwidth or cost command in outgoing interface of router. You can see the arrow, which I marked and only on that interface bandwidth or cost command need to configure. I will show you practically configuration part, so that your concept will more clear. Okay. I already configure the IP address of all the device, now I will start the OSPF configuration. I will start with R1. Now R2. R3. R4 R5 
OK, so you can figure OSPF in all the devices. Yes, now you can see that if I want to send a packet from R1 to R5, it will go via fast Ethernet port because of his high bandwidth and low cost by default. Also, ping is reachable via fast Ethernet. Now I will start configuration of bandwidth command of all outgoing interface towards R5 in the respective routers. I will make bandwidth equal of all the outgoing interfaces towards R5. I will use the command bandwidth 100000 on all outgoing interfaces towards R5. Now I will verify it. You can see that now three paths are showing. It is use round robin load balancing method. First packet goes via fast ethernet link. Second packet goes via ethernet link. And third packet goes via serial link. You can see the ping response. Now same I will check from R5 to R1. It will also show only one path via fast Ethernet link path. Because we had not configured for that also. Now we will start the configuration of outgoing interfaces towards R1. We use the same command. Bandwidth 100000 on all the outgoing interfaces from R5 to R1. Now I will verify it. You can see that it is also showing 3 equal path from R5 to R1. We will check it via ping also. See ping is also reachable. This is how we can make unequal cost convert into equal cost and make a load balancing in OSPF. Tejas my OSPF unequal cost load balancing concept is clear now. Thank you.